We've been concerned about the cardiovascular risk in lupus for decades. And in fact, a young woman with lupus between the ages of 35 and 44 has a 50-fold increased risk of having a heart attack. That's obviously unacceptable, and we have to find out why. Traditional cardiovascular risk factors like blood pressure and obesity do play a role. And that's been the focus of a lot of my research. We really must get the traditional cardiovascular risk factors under control if we want to lower the risk. But this isn't the complete story because lupus all by itself, even without traditional cardiovascular risk factors, does lead to an increase in atherosclerosis. The problem is we haven't been able to find how it does it. It doesn't seem to be related to the usual measures of disease activity that clinicians know about. In recent work that's been done with Dr. Kiani and one of our radiologists here at Hopkins, we've discovered that the very earliest phase of atherosclerosis is an atherosclerotic plaque that is soft. That means it doesn't have any calcium in it. This very first kind of atherosclerotic plaque is associated with lupus disease activity. So we think we finally have the tie-in to active lupus. It's taken decades to get this far though. Well, currently we have a trial of omega-3 underway because of interesting data that came from the United Kingdom that per perhaps omega-3 might be one way to help early atherosclerotic disease in lupus. Previously, we did a trial of atorvastatin, a statin, and unfortunately, that was not good news. We did not find that statin prevented the progression of atherosclerosis and lupus. We just need to be inventive. I think we need to keep testing things until we find the right way to prevent the lupus component of this disease. As we're well aware, patients with lupus have an increased risk of uh, artery thickening, known as atherosclerosis, and an increased risk of heart attacks and strokes as a result of this. So we were looking to see with patients with mild lupus who had skin and joint involvement and who were taking Plaquenol, whether at that early stage in their disease their arteries had been affected, and if they had, whether a drug called mycophenolate mofetal could improve their artery function. We looked at 70 patients and we looked at their arteries using ultrasound and a technique called flow-mediated dilatation. And this really looks to see how the artery expands when blood flows through it. Simplistically, if your artery is healthy, when blood flows through it, the expansion is greater. If your artery is thickened, then the expansion is less. And in the 70 patients that we looked at with mild lupus, all their arteries functioned very well. There was no evidence of early atherosclerosis. And mycophenolate mofetal didn't improve their arterial function. So we really felt this was a positive uh, study from the point of view of uh, patients with mild lupus, that their arteries were functioning well. And provided they were not smoking, had good pl blood pressure control, were not overweight, did not have a raised cholesterol, then the, the fact that they had lupus did not put them at an increased risk of a heart attack or stroke in the future.